Hey, I'm Gabe with Vitev, and I'm going to walk you through how to install our Riemann cartridge that looks like this onto an RO system that looks like that. Um, there's really two main categories of RO systems, at least when it comes to installing a, a post cartridge like the Riemann is. The first one is this, what we'd call more of like our old school RO. You can still get these brand new, uh, but just this style itself is really what the ROs initially looked like when they first came out years and years ago. The way you can tell this system apart, or this category apart, is that you have access to the tubes, the connectors, you know, the in and the out on the membrane itself. The horizontal piece here will be your membrane. And you can get to the connectors, you can change the tubes, you can make some adjustments to this. And that's what you're going to need to do with the, the remen in this sort of style. If you don't have this, if, if your membrane is, is maybe down below, it's encapsulated and it twists into the system, or you just don't have access to the tubes and the connections and the different valves and stuff because they're maybe built in or covered up somehow within the, the system itself, those are what you're going to find more in the proprietary world, um, then this video is not for you. Uh, we'll put a pop-up or something that comes out here and gives you the link to that video so you can go figure out how to put the remin into that style of system because the remin will work anywhere. It just won't work in this style for you. So click that one and head on, head on over to the other, the other version. But if this is your style, uh, I'm going to show you how to, to tie it in. It doesn't take very long at all. You just have to know how the water is flowing through the system in order to kind of pick the correct placement. So before I show you that, let me, let me walk through how the water will flow through an RO just to make sure you're, you're following along here. First step will be your, your input valve, right? The water's coming from your supply line, your cold water. It's gonna hit a, a cartridge here first. It'll most likely be a sediment cartridge. That's typically how it starts. Um, you wanna take the largest particles out, the rusts, the sediments, the sands, that kind of stuff. Get that out of the, the system first. And this is typically a filter that needs to be replaced or changed more often as well because uh, especially if you have some, some pretty large things in your water um, that, that's going to clog up pretty quick. From that point, it's going to jump over to uh, carbon, maybe, maybe even two carbon systems like this one would have. Um, the carbon is taking out, really taking out chlorine. That's the major thing that carbon is, is meant to target, at least it used to be. If your carbon cartridge only deals with carbon and it doesn't deal with chloramines, uh, I would highly suggest looking at upgrading that carbon. Uh, if you can't find that, let us know. We can point you in the right direction. But find a, a carbon that can take care of chloramines as well. Um, chloramines are becoming more and more popular. And the problem um, of chloramine over chlorine is that it will damage the membrane much quicker than a chlorine would. Uh, it'll actually degrade this down, kind of dissolve it, to the point where the membrane is no longer functioning like a membrane. And you just have a lot of different filters. It's not cleaning the water like you think it is. So. Look for a chloramine, um, uh, chloramine resistant or a chloramine capable carbon uh, to upgrade your system with. From that point, it heads up to the membrane. You'll see a connector on the side that heads up here. The input side of the membrane has a single connection. The output side has two connections. One of those connections will be heading down to the drain line or maybe back behind the system to the drain line. And the other connection will be heading over to your supply tank, your, your pressure tank. Uh, most likely it's gonna look like a probably connection sort of like this put a larger one together so you can see it better. But it'll have like, like that, right? Where the water comes out of the membrane slowly, heads across, takes another tube off to the tank that sits off to the side. And then when you open the faucet up, which is where this line goes, water takes the path of least resistance. It comes out of the tank, back this direction, and heads up to your faucet. Okay, that's, that's the most common way of, you're gonna find it. You may also find a system like this, where the water comes back from the tank, heads up here and goes into a polishing filter or sort of a final carbon filter uh, mounted on top. What this is for is to improve the taste of the water. It's not taking out any more chlorine. That should already be done down here. This is just to improve the taste because our water is aggressive. Uh, it can, can kind of leach that flavor from the tank or from the bladder that's in the tank and pass it on into your glass and that doesn't taste good. So this carbon filter is simply removing that flavor. And so you have a setup that looks like this, okay? Either way, the best place to put the membrane, or I'm sorry, put the ream in, is right here. It won't, doesn't have to look like this. You can, you can add some tubing and have it just snap up on top like, like the rest of the systems, but this is how the water will flow through. So it's gonna come out of the membrane, come through the ream in very slowly, because you want it to have a lot of contact time with the minerals in here. Then it heads over to the tank. And most importantly, when the water then comes back, it doesn't head back through the, the ream in. We want it moving in one direction only. And you'll notice on the, on the label, there's a flow directional arrow. It's a one way only. You don't want it coming back through the ream in. So it heads back here and then up to the tank, okay? Once again, membrane, ream in, tank, up to the faucet, okay? 
if, and then that, that still allows, no Swiss Anomie, it still allows that final polishing filter to be used if you wanted to. However, you'll notice that when you put minerals in the water, number one, it tastes better. When you put minerals in the water before the tank, it raises the pH up, the water is no longer aggressive. That's also good for the flavor. So you can probably even get rid of this carbon filter if you'd like. Not necessary, you wouldn't need it anymore. Save yourself a little bit of cost. That's the insulation part. If for some reason on this system you still cannot make this connection here, then you could put it on this line that heads to the finishing filter or just replace the finishing filter with the ream in itself. That would also work. But the best location is right here for both performance and taste and longevity and ease of connections actually. So um, right here is the spot to look for. Uh, within the, the system yourself, you're gonna get a couple of clips as well when it shows up to your place. Um, you can take this then and just clip it on top of the membrane itself and then snap the ream in on there. Or if you just wanna make it a little simpler, you can put it up this on the side of your counter or inside of your sink and snap the ream into that location as well. Either one of those will work. If for some reason you need a larger connector, the ream in comes with a quarter inch connectors in each end. If you need to step it up to a 3 8 inch, those are readily available, Home Depot, Lowe's, Ace Hardware, really easy to find. If you need some help with that, you can, we can help you with those as well, because uh, we do have them here. Uh, and that should be it. Um, that should be all you really need to know to install the ream in. Have a pair of scissors, some wire cutters, a pocket knife, whatever to cut the tubes, and you're just gonna splice it in, and away you go. If you have some specific questions about your system or, or you're just not quite sure whether it'll work for you, um, number one, it will. <laughs> the remit always works no matter what the RO system is, uh, but we can give you some guidance for it as well. Let us know if you have any questions. Uh, give us a call, email, chat, or just make a comment down below. We can help you that way as well. Hope this helps, and we'll look forward to talking with you soon.